Well, now to the next round of unsealed documents related to Jeffrey Epstein. ABC senior investigative correspondent Eric Kontursky is here with what they reveal. Good morning, Aaron. Eva, good morning to you. This second batch of documents includes no new famous names, but it does provide an inside view of how Jeffrey Epstein's former companion, Glenn Maxwell, sought to prove some of the most salacious allegations involving her were lies. Overnight, more Jeffrey Epstein-related documents were unsealed following a first batch that included names of famous people associated in some way with Epstein, including the actor Kevin Spacey, magician David Copperfield, supermodel Naomi Campbell, and former presidents Trump and Clinton, none accused of wrongdoing. The newly released records show how attorneys for Glenn Maxwell sought testimony from a British tabloid reporter who they claimed helped Epstein victim Virginia Giuffre manufacture stories about sexual encounters with Epstein's famous friends like Prince Andrew to make her account more marketable to book publishers. Maxwell's attorneys accused the reporter Sharon Churcher of encouraging Giuffre to handwrite a diary describing her alleged sexual encounters with Prince Andrew. The judge denied the request to depose Churcher, and this morning she called Maxwell's claim absurd, telling ABC News there was no conspiracy. If I were that creative, I would be writing Agatha Christie-style novels. A lawyer for Jufre said for years Maxwell and Epstein led a relentless effort to discredit my client. The historical record has established what Virginia experienced was found to be true. In a 2011 email, Jufre talked to Churcher about selling this now notorious photo of her and Prince Andrew to Vanity Fair. What do you think a good price to sell this to VF should be? The same year, Jufre made the unsubstantiated claim former President Clinton had previously threatened the magazine over a story about Epstein. B. Clinton walked into VF and threatened them not to write sex trafficking articles about his good friend, J.E., those involved have long denied it, and Vanity Fair's editor at the time told The Telegraph this categorically did not happen. Maxwell is serving a 20-year prison sentence after she was convicted in 2021 of aiding Epstein's sex trafficking of young women and girls. Her appeal will be heard in March. So far, about 60 documents have been unsealed. George, there are still more than 200 to go. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.